The Commodore 64, now in a home family pack. A family pack containing the world's number one selling home computer. Most of us at some stage have eaten a meal off plates with the willow pattern design on them. The design represents an ancient Chinese fairy tale and this game was an arcade adventure based on that story. Our hero Chang must make his way through the beautiful but deadly oriental maze of the Mandarin's palace to rescue the beautiful princess Kong Shi. The maze is indeed beautiful. Pagodas, palaces and sword-wielding samurai are all superbly depicted. I should perhaps explain why Chang wants to rescue Kong Shi and why Shi is being held against her will in the palace. Perhaps she is the one who has to paint the patterns on all those horrible plates, in which case she deserves to be locked up. In fact, the princess is being forced into a marriage with the evil merchant Ta Jin, who probably has one of those long droopy moustaches that evil Chinese merchants always seem to be endowed with. As far as Kong Shi is concerned, it's a case of no Ta Jin, because she is in love with Chang, and that's why he's out to rescue her. It's a bit like a platform game without platforms. You simply walk, or rather run around the many screens of the palace, picking up useful items as you go. Number one useful item is a sword, which you can fling in the direction of the samurai guards. Wait, what? Wait a minute. This game is identical to the game which Greg Duddle also created the year earlier with Treasure Island. In fact, it's like all the pirates and piratey stuff have just been transported to the Orient with samurai and samurai stuff. Never mind, that's a good game too, but I'll cover that on another video someday. Pretend we didn't see this for now. In some choice spots around the garden are bridges that span one of the rivers, but for some reason, Chang must not cross the bridges, so he is forced to use the stepping stones beneath them. On top of each bridge, three giants hang their arms over the side. This makes crossing the river awkward, so Chang has to jump between the stepping stones in time to avoid the dangling limbs. To complete the adventure, it is necessary for Chang to gain a key to free the princess. The pair then have to hot-foot it back to a waiting boat with the princess's angry father hot in pursuit. Positioned in places of maximum inconvenience, however, are the katana-wielding samurai, who are set on barring the way of any trespasser. If Chang gets within striking distance of said nasty, then a rather hefty sword comes flying his way. If you don't move a bit sharpish to avoid them, then your life counter will take a turn for the worse. There are a few handy swords to be found about the maze, and if one is collected, it can be used to dispose of these vile samurai. Willow Pattern's most attractive feature is its graphics. They're very pretty, and incredibly like Tom Minton's Willow Pattern design, even though personally, I think the plates themselves are pretty ghastly and always remind me of going around to old people's houses as a kid. They all seem to have these plates hanging about somewhere. The music from David Whittaker is very memorable and suits the game perfectly. As this sort of game goes, Willow Pattern isn't too bad. It's very easy to get into and there's plenty to keep you busy. Overall, it's a fairly decent game and I think everyone should give it a whirl and try it at least once. Thanks for watching guys, hit the like button if you enjoyed the video and let me know your thoughts and memories of playing Willow Pattern in the comment section. Also, if you're enjoying the Commodore nostalgia, then do be sure to subscribe to the channel and follow me on this epic journey as we rediscover more and more games we may have forgotten from our childhood. There's plenty more on the channel playlist and another coming up right now. Hopefully, I'll see you in the next video. Until then, Bye for now. Two birds flying high, a Chinese vessel sailing by, a bridge with three men, sometimes four, a willow tree hanging o'er, a Chinese temple, there it stands, built upon the river sands, an apple tree with apples on, a crooked fence to end my song.